Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net and it is Friday the 23rd of January. Thanks again for watching. Of course, being a Friday, that means that it's long range forecast day uh, from the Japanese Meteorological Agency. But before we get on with the forecast, just to let you know, just had a new stock of the Pocket Weather Forecaster book arrive. This is my book. It runs to 84 pages. It's in an A5 format. It contains full colour pictures of the clouds and what weather to expect. So it really is uh, a guide to spotting the clouds and deciding what weather to expect from them. It's really, really easy to use and that's available to order from the website now. Or why not teach yourself all about weather with my WeatherWise DVD. It lasts for two hours. It's got lots of little videos in there, each uh, lasting less than five minutes, which teach you about different aspects of the weather. Fronts, air masses, clouds, you name it, it teaches you about it. Loads and loads of you already bought those and uh, pleased to say that you're really enjoying them as well. Again, you can order those from the website right now and we'll dispatch them straight away. OK, on with the forecast. And as I say, it's JMA Forecast Day. And these are the forecasts they issue every week for the next four weeks. This is week one going from uh, today, so from the 23rd through to the 29th of January. And uh, really consistent story, um, ridge developing out here in the Atlantic, uh, low the normal heights up towards the north. And here's this strong jet stream, west to west, northwesterly jet stream, that's going to be affecting the British Isles during the course of the coming week. That brings the uh, unsettled conditions that we're likely to see through this week and also um, it allows for a few milder interludes uh, particularly when compared to recently but also for some colder days to come through as well and that's what we're going to be seeing through this week with that strong jet in the Atlantic. Notice the trough here still across the central Mediterranean so still some uh, wet conditions to come across the uh, southeastern med. Now for week two know from our long range forecast that we were uh, talking of uh, going into a colder snap during week two. So this is running from the 30th of January through to the 6th of February and um, this consistent really with what other, other models are showing as well. Look the ridge gets pulled away to the south, there's the uh, low the normal heights towards the north, still the trough in the eastern med here but what's happening is this is just pulling in ever colder air and we're effectively what we're doing is getting two uh, low pressure systems starting to develop. We've got one that uh, looks like being across the uh, northern parts of Scotland, another one that looks set to be across the northeastern parts of Canada, though because combined are bringing the uh, coldest spells of weather. Um, do you mind if I just get this phone call? It's probably one of you guys phoning actually. Thank you, you are so kind. <laughs> Guess what it wasn't. Do you know what? It was about PPI. Can you believe it for that PPI protection that I uh, had and didn't need? The only problem was I didn't have a loan. Oh well, never mind. I feel very, very privileged to have that phone call. I'm sure I'm the only one. Uh, anyway, back to the forecast. Um, you wouldn't hear this on the beep, would you? Uh, back to the forecast. Um, as I say, going cooler uh, during this week. And let me just show you the chart for the 2nd of Feb. This is the prediction from the ECMWF. So this is for, uh, where are we, next Tuesday. So Tuesday, a week on Tuesday, Tuesday the 2nd of Feb. Low pressure, look, centres across the country. Strong northerly flow, northwesterly flow coming down behind it. This thing tumbling down this way, bringing the potential for some wintry weather. And that's basically what the Japanese model has picked up on during the course of uh, that week to forecast. And then for weeks three and four, remember this is me now for weeks three and four. So from the uh, 7th of February through to the 20th of February, looks like this. Starting to build the ridge back in, puts the trough off towards the uh, northwest there. Keeps the idea of the trough down in the med, but what that would do is bring us a pressure pattern something like that uh, through the country. Perhaps not such an accentuated ridge, but... What that's pointing to is what we're being sent on our long ranges. The pressure may start to build middle part of February into the end of February, bringing a drier mid to last part of the month, but staying pretty unsettled across Scotland. So kind of the unsettled weather loaded into the first part of February. That ties in, by the way, with the uh, latest ECMWF32, although the 32 not quite as strong on the build of this pressure at the end of the month, but certainly um, a coherent story now coming through from these long range models. Of course, that's not to say they're not wrong. They could be, uh, but at the moment we're getting this uh, coherent story from them. And as I've been recording, the very latest uh, CFS mean 500 millibar anomalies for the whole of the month of February have just come in as well. This is how they look. Look, 
building this ridge out towards the west of the country um, and you see there that ridge look extending from the Azores High so certainly this idea of higher pressure getting going I think this is probably all a little bit too strong but it certainly lends itself into the idea of higher pressure building during February so we're getting a picture together there, aren't we, of how February is likely to be shaping up. And if you want a real detailed forecast for February, then check out our premium video online. Of course, you can get a forecast for the next few days using the fast forecast. But for now, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.